Okay, sweetie, you're going to meet your Aunt Cassie for the very first time. <laughs> Yo, Cassie. I know. I know she's expecting us. I know she is. Hey. Hello. Hello, Cassie. Surprise! Oh, my gosh, you friend. Oh, 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 I told you it was a bad idea. I told you. Hey, the, this woman just gave birth in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. I think she can stand a surprise baby shower. A baby shower? Well, it's small. It's just the oh. three of us. Again, we thought better late than never, even though this is kind of really late for a baby oh. shower. We're like, get her, just get her. Oh, bring her up here. That is unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. She is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. She is beautiful. Look at those long eyelashes. Her nose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I know who Zach and RJ are going to be fighting over in a couple well, of years. Well, I think Zach's going to have her because RJ's her cousin. Oh, so. oh that's right. Yeah. So is Zach. Oh. oh. I hope you don't mind that we did this. Just that we didn't know when the three of us were going to be able to get together again. Since Do you I? and Ross are going to Philadelphia. Of course I don't mind. I mean, this is wonderful. You guys are going to make me cry. You know. You know. I have missed you. I mean, not so you as much, Harley, because I've seen you. But you, you know, you're just like, every time I turn around, you're out of the country or something. What is, what's going on with you? Oh, <laughs> Nothing, really. I mean, same old boring life, except that I'm about to marry a handsome prince who used to be married to my sister. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so someone who put a pee under your mattress? Nobody, but I, uh, I did get this. Put it down, please. Leave me alone. You dumped me for my daughter, and I'm miserable about it. Okay, I want to talk about this. Oh, there's nothing more to say. Just go away. Let me drown my sorrows in my apple juice. It's apple juice? You thought I fell off the wagon over you? I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. Well, I'm shaky, but I'm going to meetings, and I'm just fine. Well, if you wanted to talk, you could have come to me. Oh, talk to you. Talk to you about how incredibly foolish I feel for thinking that you and I had some sort of a future together. Holly, with good reason, I didn't exactly discourage those thoughts. Well, I was way ahead of you. I went and bought new clothes for the trip. I was very happy, giddy, silly. Not very becoming for a woman my age, would you say? On, would you stop it? Now, something did happen between us. And I believed that until the... Until Blake walked back into the picture. Well, that and the baby, I'm just so sorry that don't, this happened. Don't apologize for being in love, Ross. You know, you two just belong together. I always told you that until I got caught up in the fairy tale of... You and I... No. Never mind. We've said all there is to say, haven't we? No, we haven't. I thought we could make it work between us. Now, until the baby, I had no idea that I felt anything for Blake, but you kept telling me that I did. I knew you were still in love with her. I knew it, but I just wanted you anyway. I continuously want men who are wrong with me. Red flags can be waving in front of my face, and I go right through it. I want to be needed so badly that I will make one lousy choice after another. And now I become just another lousy choice, is that it? You didn't want me, sweetheart. Yes, I did. Holly, I wanted you very much. And don't you ever think otherwise. <laughs> okay, this is unbelievable. This is unreal. This is uh, like a fairy tale, uh, Prince. Uh, so what yeah. happened here? It was what, love at first sight? I mean... <laughs> oh, well, it, it's not exactly that kind of marriage. What other kind of marriage is there? Sarah Christian will need to need an heir to the I throne. need to give my kids a good a family, a good you know, family and kind of just a kind arrangement. of arrangement. Arrangement? 
What are you talking about? You mean there's no love involved? She didn't exactly say that. Well, you can't tell her half and not tell her all the juicy good stuff. What may be juicy to you happens to be depressing to me. Okay, uh, uh, somebody want to clue me in on what's going on? Richard doesn't love me. Okay? Doesn't love me, but he respects me. He likes me. He loves my children, okay? He loves my children, and that's why I'm actually doing this, because I want to give my kids a good life. So, that's fire. That is only part of it. There's a huge part of it. It is a huge part of it. It is. It, there is a huger part, which is that she's in love with him. The prince. Yes. Truly, madly, deeply. She has all these erotic dreams about him. There was one that she told me. You're above it. And you know what? You guys can't say anything to Richard, especially to Richard. And if you do, I will have you beheaded. I think she can do that, too. Okay, okay. So, let me get this straight. Uh, you're madly in love with the prince, but you haven't told him this. Gee, why not? I mean, you're about to get married anyway. I mean, what? No, I can't. You don't understand. I can't tell him because if he thinks that I love him, he's going to think it's not fair if he marries me, and he'll call the whole thing off. She think? No, I know. He did the same thing to Olivia, so I can't tell him. He, he cannot know that I love him, and everything has to stay exactly the way it is. And I just have to pray that eventually he falls in love with me. So I wasn't fishing for compliments. Well, that's too damn bad. You're getting them anyway. So you and Blake are flying off to Philadelphia tonight, huh? Well, I have to see Michelle first, but uh, we could postpone all of this if you're finding it difficult to be alone. You think I need a chaperone? I wasn't implying that. Yes, you were. You think I'm too fragile to be alone. You know, that's your trouble. Your pattern. You think you need to save every woman around you. Well, this woman does not need saving from you or anybody else. All right, Holly. I am not going to fall apart again. I am sober, and I'm getting my life back together, and I'm going to work. That's what I'm doing right now. Well, what are you working on? Is this an editorial? Uh, yeah, I'm working on the uh, last chapter of Blake's novel. Does Blake know about this? No, and I don't care. She gave up those rights when she let me publish it. Have you read the, the final chapter? No, I can't say that I have. Well, she has Clarissa and Armand, you and I, you see, going off uh, to live happily ever after. But, of course, you and I know that Armand should go with his wife into the sunset, the sun setting in Philadelphia. And that's how the story should end. You truly are a remarkable yes, woman. Yes, I am. Amazing and so forgiving and now will you please go pick up your wife and your new baby and fly away you are you're all of those things i will be back as soon as i can happy Ending for everybody but you, Holly. Oh. Uh, not always so perfect, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>